Hi everyone, Mitch from Big Commerce here, and in this quick video, I want to show you how to create a profit pulling promotion. Now, in the terms of this video, with a promotion, I'm talking about something you can display on your e commerce website. Now, if you're using Big Commerce, you can use the built in promotions or the banner wizard to create this promotion, but I'm more going to talk about the actual technique of coming up with the promotion and implementing as opposed to getting it live on your website. So you can be using any e-commerce software really. Alright, so the one thing we want to do with a promotion is obviously attract as many customers as possible. Now, normally I don't advise competing on price, but in this case what I would do with this promotion is, let's look at one, winning more customers, two, increasing average order value, three, getting repeat customers, and four, getting referrals or word of mouth as well. So if I was running an online store, which I have in the past, I've actually been behind many successful e-commerce e stores before we started Big Commerce, is I would look at a very popular product that you sell. Uh, I can't tell you what that would be. Look at your sales reports and pick one of the products in your top five. I would look at your cost price on that product and I wouldn't add anything on top of the cost price. So I'd sell at cost if you can. You might need to add 5 or 10% for handling or for admin or whatever you need to do, but try and identify this one product that you can sell at or very close to cost. Now, what we're going to do is create a banner. Now you can create it yourself or you can get a designer or you can go to odesk.com, guru.com, uh, you can go to 99designs.com, any of those kind of freelance design sites and have someone design the banner for you. Now what the banner is going to have is a photo of the picture, a headline, which can just be the product name. So a good example is, let's say we're selling iPhones, Apple iPhone 16 gig, on sale for cost price at 159 or whatever it is. Today only or one or two days only. So you want to have the promotion be time sensitive. And the reason the promotion is time sensitive is because it creates a sense of urgency with people coming to your website. They'll see the promotion ends at the end of today or tomorrow and they won't have time to think about it. You want it to be an impulse buy. So they see the promotion, they think, you know, look, I probably don't need this product, but it's at cost price, it's a good deal, bang, add to cart. So that's the first thing you want to do, get that banner designed, get it up on your homepage or where everyone will see it. When they've added that product to their cart, then in Big Commerce and maybe in other shopping cart software as well, under the cart there's, here are some products you also might like. And they're taken from the related products for the item you're selling at cost price. So what you want to do is edit that item, in this example an Apple iPhone, and manually select the related products. I believe it's on the other or miscellaneous tab in Big Commerce when you're editing a product. Manually choose complementary products, maybe five or six of them that are related to that product. So if we're selling an iPod or an iPhone, you might have the wristband, you might have um, some Bose headphones or Dr. Dre headphones, uh, you might have cases, whatever you can think of that will add value to that purchase. Now here's where you're going to make some of your margin on this order. Because remember, you're selling the main product at cost. So the idea here is they'll add that product to their cart, then they'll see, here are some products you might also like. And, you know, you might get only 10 or 20% of people doing this, but they'll buy one or more of those items to complement their order. So, now they've got that product in their cart, and probably 5 or 10% will have another item. You can also make some of your money back on the shipping. Now, don't go crazy. Don't... Don't charge $40 for shipping when it really only costs you $5. You might charge $8 or $9 or $10. That's a similar strategy that a lot of people use when they're selling on eBay. They sell something at cost price, but they get you on the shipping. Now, you don't want to get your customer on the shipping, but you might make a few extra dollars just to boost the order value there, assuming that only 10% will take you up on buying one of the recommended products that you, you show on the cart page. So, once you've done that, they've ordered, they've purchased, you've shipped the order in a timely manner, very important, make sure they get it quickly. Even if they choose five day shipping, try and get it to them in one or two days. You want that wow factor to kick in, you want them to tell their friends, hey guess what, I just shopped at examplestore.com, I got this iPhone, 
and this armband for 80 bucks off or $100 off or wh whatever your cost price is, um, the difference between the cost price and the retail price. So then, hopefully, if you do it correctly and ship the order, they'll start telling friends. Those friends will come, they might buy the iPhone if you still have that promo, and that'll repeat as well. Now what you want to do on the back end is make sure you're emailing these people regularly. So a good, good email could just be a weekly specials list if you have specials where you occasionally drop your prices. Again, I don't recommend competing on price, but if you do have a loss leader, which is a product you sell cheaply to get people in the door, like I'm telling you in this example, that's fine. Just don't sell all of your products as loss leaders or a cost price because obviously you'll make no money. So you can send the weekly specials list via email. You can send them a monthly newsletter telling them what's happening in your company. You can do video reviews of your products and send them out. I'm a big advocate of video reviews. Say you sell iPhones, literally get a camera like I'm doing right now. This is a $600 to Sony, just a Sony HD cam, sorry I was trying to read the label, nothing fancy. I'm in my office, as opposed to the meeting room where I normally am for these videos. Uh, do a video of you unboxing the iPhone, talking about it, holding it up to the camera, put that up on your website. Email them when you've done that, put that video on YouTube as well. That will get you the stickiness. People will come back to your website to see those videos. Because believe it or not, you'll be the only one doing them. As simple as it sounds, no e-commerce retailers take the time to do videos where they review their products or they unbox them. Take a look at winelibrary.tv, which is Gary Vaynerchuk's website. He does a really good example of that. All he does is unbox wines, drinks them, gives his opinion, and then you can buy them. Winelibrary.tv. So that's kind of one other tactic in this little strategy we're using. So let me just recap. Find a product that you sell a lot of, create a banner or a design on your homepage, um, advertise the product there at cost price, actually sell it at cost price, manually edit the recommended or the related items for that product and choose five or six items that complement it. Have your normal margin on those. When someone buys that product, they'll see those recommended products on the cart page. Hopefully five or 10% of them will add them to their order. They'll check out, make sure you, or optionally you can make a few extra dollars on the shipping. Make sure you hit them up with regular emails on the back end and optionally video recorded reviews of you looking at your products or unboxing your products. And you're really gonna, you're gonna build that lifetime value, which means how much revenue that customer will bring in over their lifetime, which could be four orders, six orders, 10 orders. Ideally, you're tracking that metric as well. If you don't know what it is, just Google how to track lifetime value. And then, you know, ideally, so you'll have high lifetime value, they'll keep coming back, they'll tell their friends, and then that will spiral as well. And, you know, you might just wanna try one cost price promotion, you might wanna try one a week, different products in different categories. Just test, test different things, look at your sales, tweak, test again, tweak, test again. Keep doing that and I'm sure you'll come across a winning promotion that will get you those extra customers and feel that growth for you as well. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.